Today, we're going to take a look at the new Steam overlay uh, setup that Steam or Valve has given us. Uh, they've updated it a bit and added a few more features since my last video. So let's take a look at those. Just to be clear, I am on, as you can see, Steam VR 1.19. I have personally seen that actually is going to have these overlay functions. Okay, now that we're in Steam VR, the oh, I'm not sure what you want to call this right here, the Steam menu, Steam VR menu, uh, where you can access your games, things like that, or make your own rooms, you know, all that other stuff. Uh, Let's go into the menu area I was talking about within here and let's show you how to apply these overlays for free. So you want to hit your menu button on your um, knuckles. It's going to be the button just below the B button there. Uh, can I do it? Uh, yeah, right there. Right there is if, if you can see that. So you hit that button, brings up your uh, menu, and you can take a look around and see all this that you have. Well, right here, which is really, really interesting, this is one of the first things that they changed that I know of, is right here. You can go global, and when you hit that globe, you can take this and put it anywhere in your space. It is absolutely phenomenal. And you can bring it down to like that and just put it up there. You don't have to worry about the angle because with the twist of your wrist, you can keep it at any angle that you can manage to do with your wrist, as you can see. So that is really, really nice. Uh, what I like doing is putting this up here like that. And seeing that we're in here, let's open up another program. Let's see one that won't. Yeah, let's. OK, that should be open. So now we're going to come down to here. So this is one that's set up in the environment. Now, what we want to do is put one on each of these controllers. So we'll go over to the add view, as you can see down here, at the, but, the uh, plus button. And then all your programs that are open that you can use for this overlay is available for you here. So let's take the Discord. All right, and what you want to do, it will bring it up, is you're going to come down here and select whichever um, controller you want it on. And if you, let's say, select one that you don't want, just come over here and hit that button and it'll go away. And then you have that mess. So then you got to come back down here and go like that. Okay. Turn signal. Oh, it looks like turn signals on. Oh yeah, turn signal. Right down here. This is an overlay that's free that keeps you from twisting living daylights out of your cable. Uh, so this would not be something that we would put on there. So we'll exit out of that. Okay. And then come back down to here. And we will go VR view. No. Steam. We could put Steam on there, but that's just a silly thing. Now let's see, Stream Labs. I could take Stream Labs right here. I like putting that on my right hand side. You come over here. You got to click the button in order to uh, select the overlay. So you go like that in the button on the one that you want to use to move around the overlay. So it's going to be the opposite of the uh, one that you're going to be putting it on or the controller. As you can see, that makes it bigger, smaller. I like mine about uh, 18 and 19, and it's big enough for me to see notifications. Why I have this particular one on is I want to see how my stream's going, things like that. So, uh, as well as those notifications of who's following, who's hosting, 
uh, all those different uh, informational tidbits that I want to be able to see when I'm notified. So that's what I have on my right hand side. Now if I come over here and go back to that, I put something, let's say I'm just in my Discord and maybe not streaming. And well maybe I'm streaming here and I want to see who comes into my chats. Well, uh, yep, I'm in mine. So I, I just watch this and I would add that to my left controller. As you can see, once again, bring it on over. Like I said, bring it down to about 18 is plenty large, between eight and 18 and 20. 14 is a little small to read for my old eyes. So you can do that. Now, let's say they're on here and you just don't want them. You know, it's not a setup you want. You just come over here. That brings it back to here if you want to read it as a big screen. If you just totally want to get rid of it, you got to bring it back to the big screen and then press exit so then it's gone there now if you want the screen a particular screen you can uh, I want to get rid of this let's see where is the I can't minimize it off the screen okay that's fine that's fine uh, that's the first screen and then here's my second screen which is already right there so let's get rid of that it's up there now and let's say I have things on here, okay? Let's say I have a bunch of different uh, apps that are on the screen that I want to see along with this. I just select that right there, and boom. That will bring everything that is on the screen to me, as opposed to before when I selected... Uh, down here and then let's say went discord I could do turn signal I could do any of these individual programs that I like to use so there's a real quick overlay of the new steam VR of uh, 1.19.7 and I think this is a big breakthrough I appreciate what steam has done for for us here and keep it coming. I love it. And this is Chris saying out.